Smoked Donenu provides the ultimate Korean barbecue experience in Boracay and has become one of our favorites in the Philippines. It was opened by Korean entrepreneur Chang Kyu Lee in 2005 and specializes in dry-aged pork, which is prepared in-house. This is a must-visit restaurant in Boracay located in Station 1 along the Balabag Main Road close to Astoria. The interiors are modern, clean, and spacious with comfortable seating, powerful air conditioning, and proper grill and exhaust setup. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are now at Smoke Done Morakai. This is an unlimited Samgyeopsal uh, Korean barbecue, but their specialty here is dry aged pork. So that's what we're going to have today. This is actually a recommendation from my good friend Mark Simpson, who lives in Morakai. The no shirt guy. So, Mark, thanks for joining us again on a food adventure and sharing this uh, experience with us. Of course, with uh, this here, Mark's daughter, Alexandra, and Aksana. This restaurant is owned by a real Korean named Chang Kyu Lee. And so we can't wait to try it out. And uh, over here we have the banchan. So it looks, looks like we have some kimchi, uh, radish, pickled radish, pickled onions, cabbage, of course garlic that we can add to the grill and some sauces here and of course since we're having Korean barbecue some Jinru Soju and what an interesting grill that is I think it's a charcoal grill charcoal okay smokeless charcoal grill oh that's right so it's so not smokeless it has the attachment to collect everything from their menu, we would highly recommend the Byojip Samgyipsal, which is their aged smoked pork belly, Hangjungsal, aged pork jowl, thin cut Samgyipsal, steamed egg, kimchi jjigae, and mul nangmyeon. So we're getting started with the dried aged pork, which they dry aged themselves here for one week. Cheers! Soju for the soul and our appetite. Uh, how do you say that in Korean? Ganbei? Chinese. Gumbai, Chinese. In Korean, how do you say it? <laughs> Soju! <laughs> That is the real soju. Very light, refreshing. Even the drinks I know, a bathroom. I know I don't. No, I don't. Oh, but then who would have everything. <laughs> Alexandra, you ready to try kimchi? I'll try the kimchi jjigae now. This is the 
spicy tofu kimchi soup. Yeah. Mm, served super hot. A little bit sour and super spicy. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed at how spicy this is. It's really meant for a real Korean. Mm. Wow. I think that's one of the best kimchi jjigae I've ever eaten. Super packed with flavor. And then this is the Geran Jim, which is the steamed egg. What do you want? Sasquatch or Sasquatch? It's a This is like pretty hot. It's like chawanmushi. Yeah, very creamy. It's like the Japanese chawanmushi. Wait, wait, can I just... Oh, very nice. That is amazing that they can include that in the set with the dry edge pork. That is an excellent deal, excellent value. And now, oh, there it is. We have the dry edge pork now. This is like the main event. And I guess this is the sauce? Yes, sir. Okay, let's get this party in my mouth started. Oh, I think you did an excellent job, chef. <laughs> Still steaming. Looks kind of crispy. And what kind of sauce is this? This one is a signature sauce from smoked donina. Oh, wow. So it's homemade? What? The maybe our owner of smoked donina, Sir Justin. Okay. And what's, what is it made of? This one is the uh, uh, cream garlic. Cream garlic? Yes, sir. And then the homemade sauce. Mix it just. Oh, okay, gotta mix the sauce first. So, mix that, the creamed garlic with their homemade sauce. What's what's in the homemade sauce? Or is that a secret? That's a secret. <laughs> okay, let's see how this is. Okay. Let's do it, guys. There's good textures in there, and as you can see, there's like a layer of fat. But that layer of fat melts in your mouth. Then in terms of the actual meat, it has that crunchiness on the exterior, but the actual taste of the meat seems a bit, you know, like nutty. Try it without this one. Yeah, I'll try it without this one. It was very nice. It was excellently grilled right in front of our eyes. Without sauce now. Wow. That is a must try here in Boracay. And even in the Philippines. Because you cannot find this dry aged pork anywhere else. It's a specialty of Donenu, Boracay. We are having an absolute Korean fiesta over here. Their kimchi is good, also like their banchan. The kimchi was good, even the marinated onions. Nice crunch and sweetness to that, but the sauce is what really makes it shine. Do you make your own kimchi also? Yes, sir. Our chef. Oh. Our chef makes the homemade kimchi. Homemade he kimchi. Is a Filipino chef of in Korean restaurant, smoked bonino. Excellent. You have a lot of knowledge. That's what I like about. That means the service is really good here because you have a lot of knowledge about the prep and who makes what here. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for the appreciation of our restaurant, smoked bonino. Wow. <laughs> Damn, she's good. <laughs> mm. wow. So, well, very nice. this is like so good. Look, it's already halfway done. And up next is the thin cut some new salt. And look, we got some even some slices of garlic growing. Babe, what can you say so far? I like the flavor. Yeah. yeah. Pork is a little bit smoked. Very pleasant, soft, 
And most important thing, fat really melts in your mouth. It's not top at all. Perfect. I look good for the fat. And please, yeah, they can share. They can just have Mark, thanks again for sharing this gem of a restaurant to us. That is that is really uh, something else. I mean, something that everybody should try while they're in Boracay. Ooh, it's Iskia's favorite. Their kimbap. What we call tuna kimbap. This is a Korean roll, rice roll. Definitely. This is a popular yes. here in Smoke Domino. That's right. Korean roll. <laughs> Thank you. This is very cheaper and then this is a very healthy food. Okay. This is more on vegetables and then a little bit of rice and then wrapped with a seaweed. Excellent. That's why I think Iskia is ready to eat it. Iskia, yes. you're up first. Yeah. I'm going to do it the real Korean way now. Uh, a chunk of that dry aged pork. A little bit of sauce. Put that into my lettuce. For, oh yeah, with the garlic. Can't forget the garlic. It's been just grilled. Oh yes, I love garlic. Oh, that one. That Ooh. one's gonna melt in your mouth. That Thank one. You. Okay. That is super green and fresh over here. Okay, here we go, guys. It's so nice with the, gar with the garlic and the lettuce. Mm -hmm. And here, finally, dream come true. <laughs> it's the mulut nang yun. Mulut nang yun. Wow. Mulut This is the classic Korean cold noodle soup. And it's supposed to be served with beef and sliced pears, Korean pears. Okay, one of Paksana's favorites, mul nang myon, which is the classic cold Korean noodle soup served with uh, sliced beef and Korean, Korean pears. pears. And it's chilled and the top, the topped off with an egg. Super, I miss that flavor since so long time in cooking for that soup. Because some Korean restaurant already removed it from the menu. Yes, it's not so easily available. This is really a dish that uh, only Koreans would know about or eat. But we've tried it in a few restaurants in Manila, and some of them already removed it from their menu, but only one still has it on their menu. But if you can take a look at the cuts of their uh, meat, it's very thinly sliced. Well, actually, it's reasonably sliced, but I'm sure it's very thin. It's probably been pressure cooked. I know you're not a big meat eater, but I think for mul nang myon, you will make an effort mm -hmm. and even enjoy it. Oh, Good, yeah? I missed it. Is it one of the best mul nang myons you've eaten? I haven't eaten much, but it's what I wanted, what I was craving. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, the... Okay, sure. So are you satisfied? Yes, 200%. Next is the pork jowls. I also like their sesame oil, salt and pepper dip. Yeah. So that is the pork jowl. It's finally ready for delectation. So, I'm gonna Try it on its own to see what it's like in terms of a mouthfeel. That came straight off the grill. If I don't burn myself. Mm. That's so very interesting because it's kind of like Wagyu cubes. It practically melts in your mouth. Wow. But <laughs> it. That's another great discovery here at Donenu Boracay. Okay, Xana's having the last bite of the pork jowl. My slipper's broken! 
you do the honors to commemorate or to end this meal. We're doing the honors to end this meal. Hey, try the sesame. <laughs> oh. I like this experience. I was training for both soup. Mm -hmm. oh, that's and finally, I got and the quality of meat was fantastic. And side dishes, not to be variety, but everything is just nice. Because sometimes you don't want to eat like kamota or something, but just perfect side dishes. So overall, 10 out of 10. Glad to hear that. To hear that, I'm actually on the same page. For me, this is definitely the best Korean barbecue experience I've had. Not just here, but like in a long time anywhere. It just blows my mind how something can be so good with such a unique product, and also have the proper attention to detail in all aspects of this Korean meal, in terms of the. Korean chopsticks, very slippery, you gotta be an expert at. And of course, you know, all the utensils here. The whole system, the whole construct of this restaurant executed perfectly. And then you can even have the waitress cook each dish for you and actually have knowledge about the dishes that she's preparing for you. So it's a whole package here. It's quality of ingredients that you would need, uh, dry aged pork, the banchan was excellent, air conditioning is good, you're not like sweating your, you know, <laughs> your ass off here, so. <laughs> so I'm uh, just, not shirtless. <laughs> like Mark, even if you're shirtless. So I think, this is already a legendary restaurant in my mind and I'll make sure to come back here every time I'm in Boracay. I probably might even come back one more time before we leave in the next four or five days. So thanks for watching guys. Please stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode. Looks like they also have an automatic toothpick machine. Booyah! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So up next is the next establishment to Donenu. It's called Kokomo. And we're here based on Iskia's recommendation. Iskia, what is so interesting about Kokomo? It's just good. It's a smoothie bowl. What is a smoothie bowl? Uh, 